Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That's my best friend. My name is Sierra. If you don't know me, nice to meet you. What the heck? My name is Sierra. If you don't know me, nice to meet you. Virtual handshake. For today's video, I will be drinking a gallon of water for a whole week. Uh, I don't know who did this first. I'm not even gonna front, and I don't really feel like trying to find it. But credit to whoever did this first. I know I saw Nikki Brunner, Bruner. I don't really know how to say her last name, but I know I saw her do it recently. I just don't know who did it first. There was a period of time, like not too long ago, where I was losing weight, and um, I was only drinking water. But now I barely drink any water, and that's not good because I'm starting to break out, and that's so not fun for me. So it's gonna be five days of me drinking a gallon of water every day. So I'm having my last cup of Pepsi before we enter this new week. So cheers to us! Oh, so good. Before we get started on this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more content from me. And hit that like button if you like it. That's about it. That's about the extent. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. It's in the bio. It's in the intro. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get started into the video. So for Christmas, my sister got me this really big fitness starter kit thing. And it was really cool. And in it this bad boy which is huge it's like the biggest water bottle that I've ever seen actually it's huge a 101 ounce bottle 101 ounces yeah and this is basically what we're gonna be using for the majority of this challenge there's a hair on it it's not quite a gallon so I'm gonna be drinking a bottle of water outside like one bottle of water outside of this um, to reach closer to the goal she got this from Target I believe so you can go to your local Target and pick up one of these bad boys I just don't like refilling bottles so if I have to refill the bottle a couple times within a day I'm just not gonna do it so I'm gonna need to have all my water in one place so I'm gonna fill this bad boy up tonight because in the morning Lord knows I'm not gonna want to because it's like with my refrigerator it it streams like a little tiny stream so it takes forever so then I used a couple water bottles and then it took like too many and it was just a lot it's a thing I know it sounds weird but I can't remember the last time I drank water which is disgusting but like I will see you guys in the morning I'm gonna check with you throughout the day I'll probably film on my phone if I'm at school that I give you like you know whatever so by the end of school tomorrow like by the time I get home I want to at least be to like between these two okay I'm running very 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 late but I got this big thing and I'm gonna drink it in the car and then I'm gonna show you how much I get before I get to school and then I will see you during the day okay bye bye Ugh. I'm home from school and I have this big thing when I tell you I'm tired of drinking water I'm tired like, I'm so over it. My mouth is stale. 1,500 milliliters right now, which is half. And I have the other half to go for the rest of the day. And I'm really just not down for it right now. <sighs> Basically, I've peed a lot today. And <clears throat> that's been the extent of the excitement, honestly. Because I still have this much water to go. Which is about... I'm almost at the 500 milliliters. So what we're going to do is make ourselves sick and just chug it. And I know it's not healthy, so, like, no need to tell me. It's fine. I'm good. Thank you, though. It's like, is pain really pain, you know? Or is it just in your mind? It 
is too much. I did drink it. The big bottle. I'm feel sick. I don't want to do this anymore. And I don't know how well I'm going to do the next four days. Because if I can't do it now, I don't know how I'm going to do later. I just... I'm outdone. I think I need to manage it better. It is 6.51 in the morning. I'm about to be late for school. So that's fun. I have this big water bottle. I've taken a few sips. Not anything drastic. I'm not looking forward to it. It's just not something that I want to do right now. Okay, so like funny story, right? It's like so hilarious. You're going to laugh. You're going to laugh. I promise. I got home from school. And, um, let's just say I took a nap. I woke up from the nap and had to go somewhere where it was not socially acceptable to bring this big jug. And I just got home from that place, which means I am left with about this much water, which is about a thousand milliliters. The great moral of this story is that it's not gonna get done. Because I am not going to drink it. I just can't. <laughs> um, I have reached my end today with water. Okay, guys. I have some very disappointing news. Um, I never thought I would have to um, say this. I'm disappointed in myself. I was walking down the hallway and... my jug broke okay dang that my parents are my rock right so my dad was so nice enough to go to the store and buy me this very similar in color and almost almost similar in size it's a little smaller this one's a little bit smaller than this one this one's 101 ounces and this one is 67 as for now we say goodbye to bertha i named her bertha and so we're saying bye bertha and we're saying hello let's name her she looks like a jennifer so we're saying hello to jennifer i actually dropped her already you know she's not a straw type girl she's a, a tip your head back and drink me type girl I, ended, I was actually doing pretty good today um by the time it dropped i was around here ish when it dropped and all the water came out. So um, I had a little chunk to go. I'm going to end up just drinking one full one of these. And then like two water bottles. Because I don't really know how to calculate how much I miss. And I know this video is all over the place and I apologize. Because I didn't expect it to break like that. I'm not really sure how I look but I'm sure it's rough. Because I haven't been out of bed all day. I've been in bed all day. I've been in bed all day. Day. I didn't go to school today and I know people are probably going to think like I just never go to school which is not true because I do. I only have a little bit left so I might as well just show you guys me drinking the last little bit of the first cup. So now I'm going to go fill it up again. Um, the second time we fill it up. You only have to go to this line right here. school it is i'm actually home alone which is scary it's 3 50. i drank most of this during the day so i have a little bit left but yeah so let's just knock this out all right 
first bottle of the day. Let's go do our second. Oh, hey guys. I'm at home. It is 11.45. I got a little bit left. It's hard. When I tell you that it's hard, this is difficult. Alright guys, I am finally done done with the 5 day gallon challenge thingy. It was an experience to say the least. Honestly, water is not that bad. It, honestly, these last couple of days that I've been drinking water, it's like I felt myself being thirsty for water specifically more than I usually do. It was too much. You know, I feel like that was exceed, exceeding my max. Um, there's a certain number of ounces if you take your body weight and, div and divide it into that's how many ounces You should be drinking a day and this was well. Well, not well. Well, it was over It was easier to carry around than the bigger one But it's still something that you have to like keep up with and when it's heavy and full of water. It's um Harder but I had like little bumps over here and I was breaking out a little bit over here and that has minimized significantly which was really good I was actually that was my goal to um, reduce the bumps on my face because I don't like when I start to get those little bumps because they're not quite pimples they're just like bumps like you're not drinking enough water bumps so those started to go away which is really cool I would weigh myself and it would be like up one pound or down two pounds and like I think it's just my weight fluctuating because um, weight just fluctuates I don't think it really had anything to do with the water um so the fact that there were no drastic weight results doesn't really bother me it was a pretty interesting experience would i do it again no i don't think i would do it again because i like to drink i would like to drink water at my own pace next time you know or like for the rest of my life i don't want to have to say okay you're gonna reach a gallon every day or else you feel like a failure i barely made it i like i barely made it when i say that i had to push through and like whoop, gag to try to get that water down Comment below if you're a team water or team soda, and I like to see how many of us actually like water, like actually like it. Not like you tolerate it, but you like it. So don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you can get notified every single time I post a video, which is on Mondays and Saturdays. That's my new schedule, so Mondays and Saturdays, and so far it's been working out pretty good so i will see you guys on monday and i actually am excited for the video you're gonna see on monday and i love you so much 